as many of you will have already heard from me. Last week I had the absolute privilege of queuing to file past the Queen's coffin as she lay in state. Perhaps surprisingly, the most special part of the whole experience for me was actually the queuing to get in. I began at six o'clock on Wednesday evening or afternoon, not knowing how long it would take me as I took my place standing amongst strangers to queue for the next nine hours amongst people who I would discover would become good friends. Each person who had joined the queue had their own reasons for being there. While we were all united by a desire to pay our respects for the Queen, there were many other things that brought people there, perhaps their own sense of bereavements that had been triggered or brought to the service, or perhaps a particular special memory of seeing the Queen as a child. As we queued, we shared silly jokes and moments of laughter and ridiculousness, but we also shared deeply from our own journeys of pe our own pain and our recent bereavements. And at points as we queued together, we also cried together. In a beautiful way, we ministered to each other along that nine hour journey. It reminded me once again of the importance of talking about our pain and also creating spaces where other people can talk about and process theirs. The emotional and the spiritual journey that we are on in this life is not one that we are called to go about as solo travellers. We are called to walk together. In the letter to the Galatians, Paul instructs the church to carry each other's burdens. This may look messy at times, and it may feel vulnerable, as sometimes you may be the one who needs others to carry you, and at other times you may be helping to carry others, and more often than not, we're somewhere in the middle, both needing to be carried in some ways and carrying others at the same time. But always and at every time, we are travelling together, knowing that Jesus holds us, not just as individuals, but up together as a family. Knowing that the church is a family carried by the Holy Spirit. And so, as you go into the rest of your weeks, can I encourage you to find times where you can talk about the deeper things with people allowing them to minister to you, allowing them to pray for you and be there for you. And also, might you find time to be there for others, to give them the space to share deeply what's going on in their lives, to share their pains and their struggles. And through that, together, we can go on that journey of knowing that Jesus is with us, ministering to us, wherever we are. I'm now going to briefly pray for us as a church as we go stand in that metaphorical queue together almost. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for the reminder that we are to be there for each other, carrying each other's burdens. And I pray that you'd help us as a church to love one another by being there to listen and to hear each other's pains. And I pray that as we do that, we would know your love and your healing presence. That your spirit would minister deeply to each of our hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen.